So we're back at the Red Maple Cafe. We just come here every day. It's been what, three days in a row we've came here? And we ordered like way too much just so we can get a taste of everything. And they were like really angry at me yesterday because I didn't eat the sauces that they brought me because I had the worst migraine of my entire life. Bro, I was in so much pain that I've never been in before. My head was throbbing and then I was like, well, I need to go, I need to go, I need to lay down. Then they were so mad at me when I got back. Not mad, but they were like, you didn't eat anything. You didn't eat your sauces. You didn't eat it. So now I guess we gotta make sure we eat all our food or take it to go. And I ordered something different today. I got the breakfast burrito. Y'all should come and see how it tastes. It tastes really good. Question for Rob. What's the difference between Latino and Hispanic? That's a good question. Because I really don't even know either. Are you Latino or Hispanic? Am I Mexican? Are you Mexican? But a Mexican, you have to be born in Mexico or from Mexico. Okay, let's say you're just from El Salvador. But I would also say that's Latino. I don't know. I do not know. All right, we just finished our food. Sorry, our last clip was here again, but we're going to try to film some more stuff. I promise we're not just going to be filming at the Red Maple every day. We got a new camera because if you guys noticed in some of our previous vlogs, the audio was messed up. We got to get a whole new body, but it's here and we're sounding better, hopefully. We moved from the apartment to now vlogging here every day. Bruh. So we're now the... Red Maple Vloggers. Yeah, that's what you guys can call us now. <laughs> okay, we have to do the drink thing now. Create our own drink. Create our own drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can come here and buy ours. Everyone's been asking, Rob, when are you gonna drop the socks? The Rob socks, we want the Rob socks. Okay, there's only two people that said that, but for the two people that want the socks, I may be wearing the samples right now if you wanna show them. <laughs> These are just the samples. Take so, the shoe off, you know, take the shoe off. We got some other little designs or whatever. Whoa. These are just the samples though. Just the samples, they're hard. We can obviously wear it the Rob Sun style, it's just what it is. But I wanted to update you guys on it. And I do gotta say it's in the process, it's in the works, oh, yes, and it's gonna be yes. really soon where you guys are gonna be able to buy these. I just ordered like all the poly mailers and things like that because I'm gonna be shipping and fulfilling all the orders here by myself. I say within the next three weeks. Save the date. But here's also something to note. There's only 250 units, pairs, and that's it. And I got, Rob gave me one of the samples too. The other ones have the Rob name on both sides, but these guys, these are super soft. Too. And guys, it's been a journey to get these because I had to talk to different manufacturers, get samples sent from different places to see, okay, I don't like these ones, I don't like these ones. Okay, I like these ones, but I want to change this. So I wanted to make sure I got the perfect sock for you guys and I got them and they're going to be ready to come. Where are we headed, Rob? You know it, Red Maple, baby. We have been here, what, five days in a row? So we're officially their favorite customers. We'll talk to them today about getting our flavors at the yes, restaurant. Daddy. Yeah, we'll probably do that. This lemonade, man, I am pissed off, but this is so good. Please. If you are in the MFing Los Angeles, California area, 173 North Maple Street, Burbank, California, let them know that we sent you. This is the new spot, baby. What's up, guys? Our food has now arrived. I've been getting the same thing every time. This is the combo number two spicy chicken sandwich. This one, probably one of my favorite spicy chicken sandwiches ever. Better than the Popeye sandwich. Like, this is. Better than Chick fil A? Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. So, next time y'all come here, I would say try out the chicken sandwich. This is what I got. I just get a little bear chicken tender, the barbecue sauce, the breakfast burrito that we all got. Keep in mind this place isn't sponsoring us or anything. Like we're just talking nice about it because we actually like this place. So we just got brought this Whoa! as if this place can't get any cooler. Yeah, so it's basically a hot latte and it has some buttercream in it. And we have a digital printer that prints any picture you send in on the lattes. So these guys come in often enough. I swear to God, I see them like five times a week. <laughs> so we decided to surprise them. You guys should comment pictures that you want to see on there. Maybe your favorite picture of them and we can upload it too. Can you give us a brief uh, bio about you? I'm a Jersey girl. Do social media like these guys, do sketch comedy. I moved out here because I do editing and I do a lot of like help with TikTokers and management. I also work at Disney, so I like just talking with people, getting to know everyone. Right now we're, you know, enjoying the heat wave. I like to go surfing and singing and all that fun stuff. So um, basically we're like your favorite customers here? No, seriously though, I like talk to my mom. She's like, oh, do you have any regulars? I'm like, listen, I have these guys that come in. I'm gonna call them like, I mean, they are regulars, but like, like when I see them coming, Brian goes, hey, your customers are here. I'm like, rock on. You want to plug your Instagram? We can pop it up on oh, it. Rock on. It's Mayor Rutliano. It's all my social medias are Mayor Rutliano. M-A-R-R-O-T-Y-L-I-A-N-O. -R -R so if you come here, ask for her. Hell yeah. I'll take a little sip on this side. I've never been a fan of coffee, but this is epic. All right. 
<laughs> so what flavors come out to you? What really pops out? I've never really like had coffee yet. Yeah. Stuff on top tastes good. All right, there we go. It's flavorless, so that's um. <laughs> tastes like coffee ice cream. Oh shoot! Like, like what that, kind of ice like cream? You gotta like. I don't know the flavors of coffee. Like I don't want to ruin the logo, but that's epic. I'll let Ryan try. I have a more advanced taste palette. All right, all right let's see yours. So there, is there like it. caffeine in this? There is. You find that in coffee a little bit. We can do decaf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it turns out I'm not like a big coffee guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, would you say it um, has a coffee taste as um, he's very a... Very coffee yeah, taste. Yeah, very coffee. Are you getting coffee ice cream, though? It's like what he was going at. That was just bitter. <laughs> Look at me, my little privileged brat self. Like, thanks for the design and stuff, but I didn't really like it. It's not really that even good. What is... Is that like a flavor or something, or is it just like a ink? I actually hand-painted that on. I, I like to drink coffee, though, so... Like what does it taste like? Small it's one? It's like a really good yeah, like latte. Really small. I'm really beautiful right now. You guys might be able to tell something. I shaved and I got a haircut too from Hector <gasps> Hector got a cut too though. They you haven't see seen this? you since a minute. You see this right here he, You had the curls with the I think you had like a headband, right? Oh, I literally had my hair like up to like my eyebrows and then I just cut the shit off So were you surprised seeing your forehead? <laughs> Bro at first I thought my forehead was big. We kind of matching right now. What you know this? Uh oh little, little polo. Um, take a look at my room. I just got my uh, fountain installed I would have showed the Task Rabbit guy installing it, but bro, he was being kind of a dick. Found oh. oh! The inspiration for this? None at all. What happened? I was looking at my room and I was like, okay, I have the dopest room ever. What would make it doper? And I was like, looked at my hat rack, and I thought the hat rack that was originally here was a little bit high schoolish or college. And I was like, nah, I'm a grown man. Like, time to have a mature space. And sure enough, I said, let's get like a vertical fountains. Sure enough, they had them. Whoa. I used the app TaskRabbit, which I'm not, well, I guess I'm promoting it, but it's not no brand deal because we don't get brand deals. They can wait in line for you. They can fold your laundry, walk your dog, do whatever, build something. Do well, you think you're going to sleep with the water on? Probably not. I think when I'll, and this thing has a remote too. Bro, he, he finished setting it up. We plugged it in. He opens up his thing. Oh, there's a remote. Oh, what is this? And he was like trying to get out of here. Did and you change color or not? It's day one. I think there was an option to change color, but I didn't. I thought it would have been tacky because I already had the blue. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend Hector's a girl or something. <laughs> and so this is how it would be. By the way, I have 6.7 million subscribers. Oh, come right this way. So did you have any ideas of what you wanted to do tonight? Nothing, nothing much? Nothing, no? nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, nothing. did you want to get wet? <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> He's a guy. <laughs> and see now, it's leaking. It shouldn't be like that, but whatever. So as you guys know, oh, first I'll peep the cut. Shout yes, out Hector. Daddy. Hector and Tuan are the best. We said in another video, I was like, yo, I've been trying to decorate my room. It's slowly come together, still got more stuff. And I said I might, may or may not buy a $5,000 massage chair. And guess what I did? He bought it. I bought it. So let's go take a look. The Osaki oh my God. 4D massage chair. Wow. Guys, this is a 4D massage chair. is the second thing closest to getting a real massage. And we're going to have our first person ever test it out for us. Shoes off, please. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I said this to some girls and then they were like, what's up with the hood? I was like, it's the dopest hey, it's thing the ever. They are like, oh, enjoy your little chair. <laughs> that was five bands. But there's the space hood where it has like these lights that come on inside. This thing massages your hands, your fingers, your toes. So right now it's going to do a body scent and it's going to analyze Hector's body. I haven't seen a massage hair that does your feet before. So I just thought that was epic. Because I had like one grandparent back in the day that had one of the house. They look like old and just like too, too old. This one is like modern. Like what the heck, this shit cool as So. <laughs> it like a spaceship. Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's still sensing his body. Wait till it starts working. Like it goes like da, 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 da. I do need to like work on how to adjust the settings still. So if it's super intense, sorry, I don't really know how to work this properly. Let's test out the speakers real quick. See? And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to play like ocean sounds and stuff. Uh-oh, it's doing its thing. The cool ass light. His face. Well, Sounds like should, Darth Vader. It grabs your hands, your foot. You're just it's trusting. Like you're just getting squished. If oh, it wow. was just you in here, you couldn't stop it. It does feel like the Final Destination shit though. So right now, it's going down his spine and it's working on his arms and legs. You feel it? Oh, it's moving. It's moving. It got my ankle. It got <laughs> Ryan's gonna turn this knob for me. Ooh, that grabbed my hand. <laughs> so this is called zero gravity mode. You think you could fall asleep in this? I, I think I could, yeah. I did just fall asleep. Hey, yo. <laughs> Let's turn these lights on. Come on now. It's supposed to be some stars. There we go. Good little vibe, you know? Vibes. And then when you turn it off. Oh! You know the music pop over and stop. And boom. 
Thoughts? It's good, bro. You feel a little taller, you know? You feel like you can run a marathon now. Hector has found my jacket. Bro, isn't that hard? Yeah, this shit is hard, though. You like the open look? Yeah. Braces it, bro. Like, <laughs> 2,500. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it gotta be like this, for sure, you know? you know? And this fit goes together very nicely. What, what Did you actually fit you perfect? I mean, it's big on me, too. It's like, that's the point. It's supposed to be obnoxiously, like, oh, okay, puffy. Okay, okay. I don't think anybody is this size, but yeah, I just be looking fresh and everything. Yeah. Yes, Daddy. Right. What's up, guys? So, I am in my little spaceship. I'm gonna turn this on real quick. Osaki, by the way, if y'all wanna buy one of these. Uh, I just got this today, and I sat in it for two hours, and I tried out every single setting, so there's some specifically to aim on your shoulders, your hips, your back, your feet, and I did all of them, and it lasted, like, two hours, and then I was thinking, can you overdo the massage? Like right now, it's going deep into my tailbone again. Like if I sat here all day and just did this, will I get injured? Comment down below if anybody knows anything about massage chairs. I'm gonna do my little zero gravity. The way it just manhandles me and takes full advantage of me. Bleep this out, but like I low-key feel like a little slut. It gets into my tight spots, I'm like, more. So I'm guessing that hood thing doesn't automatically It doesn't. You can listen to music without the hood being down. So I wonder if the hood just kind of gets you more into like a peaceful state. That has to be it. Probably. Darker, not. like. Yeah, darker. I had all the lights off when I did it and it just felt so calm. If I do this at least three times a day, like when I wake up, middle of the day, middle break, and then when I go to sleep, hopefully that can alleviate or take away some of the pain I've been carrying on this stiff body of mine for the past couple of years. Sorry, it's getting pretty intense on the hands right now. <laughs> It'd be going too hard on the hands. Yeah, I still don't know how to adjust the intensity properly. <laughs> So it's going to tight down the What's stopping the motors from just crushing my hands right now? Absolutely nothing. Oh no, it's malfunctioning. Ow, ow. I sent it to some people. Some girls thought it was cool. Other girls didn't like it. I was like, I like it. I don't even care. There's not too much I can say while it's happening. So it's going to cut to Ryan trying it out next. Here we go. Ryan's first time. Wait, I'm stepping on this glass stuff. Yeah, I like spilled all these beads from the packaging. Bada boom. And then you can up and down pick which one you want to do. So we definitely want to do stretch. Oh, okay. How's it going to stretch you in this position? Pick one. I guess we'll do shoulder. All right. It's supposed to be relaxing. This going over me? Might as well. Full experience. How do I make it go? Uh, Other way? Other way. Yep. Uh, hold on now. Damn. It's really going down, down. It's like an Iron Man suit. So your body is still being sensed. Calculated sense. Yeah. I, I think that's complete caperoni that it's, it's sensing me. So it's starting down your spine, apparently. Here we go. Whoa, it's getting tight on my hands. Tight on my hand. Bro, this thing is bullying me right now. It's like kind of too aggressive. Like chill bro, chill. I man. can't tell if it's pissed Ooh. off at me or what. Oh, and it hits you from all angles at the same time. So like, yeah, this joint way too hard on my arms. Ow. Yeah, the intensity is actually at the highest. Bruh. I'm trying to learn. I gotta just make sure I get my arm. Just here we go. Intensity. Okay. Uh Bro, it gets a death grip on your arms. Like, like you can't take your hands out. No, really. Yeah, because what if you put your hands in like a fist? I feel like it could snap you real quick. Oh, shoot. Here we go. And how are you supposed to adjust the intensity if your hands are trapped in the thing? <laughs> it's hitting me up the butt. It's doing my shoulders, feet at the same time. Bring a girl on a first date or something? Like, hey, girl, let's go for a massage. Okay, you walk into your room. Yeah, hey, I planned a special massage for us. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Opens your door. Yep, it's right here. Oh, in the space tube. I, I don't think I'd feel comfortable doing this alone by myself. Now with the lights off? Because uh, then what like, if something went wrong? Uh-huh. Help! This thing closes all the yeah, way. Yeah, right, it goes all the way down. All right, we're gonna try to play some soothing ocean noises. Uh, relaxing, right? Uh, I don't think the ocean's that relaxing. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 sh the tailbone. Bro, this one be tickling me, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. I sometimes like press against the pressure to get the best. Bro, and it's the damn baby music. <laughs> like, you're like Play-Doh. I feel like silly putty and this thing is just kneading the f out of me. So after doing this for two hours, did you feel? Yeah, I got up and I had a whole bunch of like marks on my back, but I felt good. <laughs> Everything else be getting me now. Oh, oh, wow. It goes to the point where it's like, whoa, was this thing about to snap me? And then it like release a little bit. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh. Today's the day. Yep. Yeah, We've been waiting it. for this day. I didn't think I would actually get it. I sat in there like, I really bought this. You really bought this, but this is a really good purchase. I might have to do one of those 20 minute. What's the longest cycle we can do? 30. I'll probably do one of those. I told them I did it for two hours today. 
two hours? Yeah, nonstop. Do you think you can get injured doing this? Yeah, can you get massaged too much? It's like a point where you just hit a peak and you don't really get anything more than that. All I know is I'm gonna try this out. So hit the power button. Oh, here we go. My leg's going down. Let's do relaxed shoulder. My shoulders have been a bit tense. You have been editing. I've been editing a lot. My new video. Probably live right now. You should probably go watch it. This is futuristic, dude. Guess I gotta put down the hood. It really looks like an Iron Man suit. What's happening? Right. It really gets every part of your body up to my fingertips, dude. This is next level, dude. In your room. That zero gravity going. Zero gravity. Bro, it's touching me everywhere. Oh, yes, daddy. This is the most action I got in Ooh. years. It's working my hands right now, my shoulders, and now my legs. This is almost better than an actual person. Now it's pinching my Achilles like that. Like, how is it doing that? It feels like there's a person down there just massaging my heel like that. Oh, it's on my toes now. It's doing every individual toe right now. So am I allowed to just come in here and use this? Or do I gotta make a, an appointment with no boat massage company now or what? Just hit me in a group chat, give me a slot. I'll let you know what the availability is. Okay, cool. Cause you know I'm gonna have some guests over here. Yeah, no, I'll be. I'll make sure I'll get my time slot in. Bro, it's moving my whole body right now. And you've probably had massages before by people, but never like this. Never like this. Like you can go to the mall and get your little two quarter massage. Bro, this right here. This one's taking care of you. Where would you even get in one of these? Like who buys this? Random lit YouTubers. <laughs> lit YouTubers, I guess. 